Sounding good. Switches are good. Oh, we're good. This one, singular relief, not very wide. Yeah. Quite a bit wider right out of the gate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spline, pretty shallow, right? Pretty aggressive in the depth of this, the, the grip here, the yeah, cuts and the like teeth. Yeah. So double pinching action, much more aggressive grip, greasable. So I'll get the bushings over on this one here. Drop the hardware out of there. And that's where you need to sit. Got the Pitman arm in there. I'm just about ready now to unbolt the airbox, I guess. Lift it up out of the way and then uh, I'll probably start moving a couple more of these snorkel extensions. So that should give me all the room I need. Pro glitches, story of my life. All right, so here we are at Jer's shop. So yeah, Jer volunteered to shop. 
We normally do most of the work at uh, Spaz's shop, as most of you regular guys would know. But um, Spaz has uh, had to undergo a surgery there, and uh, it's not exactly in the uh, working on ATVs mode. He's in the recovery mode. So we're gonna let him keep recovering. But uh, we gotta start tearing this down. Because I would like to have it back in action here sooner than later. But you're running like a champ, so that's good. Been a while since we torn into this one. Yeah, right, eh? Like a week or two. But she definitely needs the fix on the old steering. She's pretty bad, boys. She goes all over the place, really. No good, no good. So hopefully this will be the, the fix that lasts us at least a season or two. That would be great. Unload tools, stuff like that. I'm going to spare you guys probably a lot of this. Tear down anyways. Um, but we'll definitely highlight the installs and talk about maybe some of the process along the way. Um, if I find anything unique or interesting, we'll share. And uh, yeah, I mean, maybe we'll try to share as much of the process anyways. And if, uh, if I don't film at all, well, I'll be sure to kind of come back and show you guys. All right, so Jairs, yeah, I can hear him, that exhaust, on his way back with our coffees. All right, where are we? I think we threw him under the seat, didn't we? Rock and roll, pitman arm, steering shaft, upper and lower bushings. Yeehaw. All kinds of J parts. Freshies. So you're gonna have to stretch the O-ring out and over the head of this. Yeah, I think so. Stretch. Hey. That's a stretch. Okay. <laughs> a stretch. Well, it I'm is too. The bolts out. Won't be as bad. Oop, we have to make sure that this will be up and right the right way too as well. Yeah, we'll take the bolts out of course, but yeehaw. That's what we're in for. Hopefully this uh solves our steering issues, at the very least. Kick ass. I guess I'm gonna want to disconnect the battery here. Definitely, because I got enough wiring in the way and shit to play with. We're not gonna want that to be an issue. Yank the seat off, get the plastics off. Front tires off, inner plastics, disconnect my rock lights, get those removed and out of the way, make as much room up top to get at the air box, and then maybe I'll bring you guys back into that point, or at least when we start pulling the horn and shit like that. But I'm clearing things out of the way, I just gotta drop these two tie rod ends, and then I can probably get to unbolting the power steering, and uh, we'll be able to get the Pitman rack out, anyways, probably pretty quick, I would think. Especially with all the play that's in the bushing, we shouldn't have a problem wedging her up, so. Yeah, this plate's gotta come off. Yeah, I can see that bushing right there. It looks like it's got some good good wear to her, so. We'll get that out of there, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. All right, so I got the tie rods out of the way, so we can unbolt that pitman arm now. And then I think we're gonna be loosening up the power steering unit there, and then we'll go at that extra action. See how that's gonna go. I hear tell that uh, these aren't too bad on this side, but the other side, apparently, they'll break off the welded nuts that are, that are on the inside. So I think there should be enough room to drop that pitman off there now once I remove that plate, so we'll see. We'll get at those pinch bolts, see how she goes. There's that pinch bolt right there from the top of the pitman. That don't look good. Think there's a little bit of stress on her, boys? Just a touch. We won't have to reuse that, which is a good thing, because it definitely needs to be replaced. Now we're going to bust this plate free here. No problem there, so... I always put my hardware back in the holes. You guys know that. I've said it a million times probably throughout my videos, but it's the best way to keep from losing shit, right? So, I can see our pitman bushing right here, and she's definitely got plenty of play in her. I don't know if you can see her there, but we are pretty much ready to extract that pitman arm, boys. And I don't know that she's just going to fall right off there. So, if we could, we 
which we can see. Here we go. Oh, she might come off here yet. Oh, hello, Dolly. Just a little pride. And there is our pitman, but we do want to make sure bars and everything, splines are. Let's make sure our bars are as straight as they can be. Take these nuts and bolts out of here first. Drop the hardware out of there. Split this bushing. That's quite the stretch. There we go. There's one. I do that again. Two. Grease gone right here, you say? Should probably feed the hardware back on. And that's where you need to sit. Should be able to bolt up the pitman and still have movement to the power steering unit up and down if I need to. However, you shouldn't have to. I mean, that's coming up and out. So the only reason you should need to unbolt that is for the pitman. I should be able to bolt the pitman back down. I'm gonna do it. I've got the pitman arm in there. I'm just about ready now to <laughs> unbolt the airbox. Look at some of these parts. The camera just died on me, so I'm not sure that she actually got any of that. Yeah, so nice size relief on both sides, double pinching. So even this is quite the upgrade. And obviously she feels a little bit heavier in the gauge of steel he's using. So that's where we're at. I grabbed a couple screws, right? We got one here, we got one here. We unbolted our uh, ECU um, off the side here. We're gonna remove some snorkels. We probably still have to, no, I think we're completely free there. So we should be all right by leaving the ECU right there. Just, uh, might be a bit tight wedging the box back in there, but we'll get her done, right? I got another set of hands in there. So all the linkage and everything, I've got that all pulled away. So um, if I cut that tie, I guess everything will drop away. Let's say remove that. But um, yeah, so um, all that's pulled apart as well. I got all my nuts and screws right here. So there is a couple more. We've got one uh, located right down here in front of the bottle which is always a real tight, tight tolerance to get in there. I recall, I can't remember what else has to be unbolted there to, to make that move enough. But yeah, there's one under there, right down here. And then there's gonna be one on the inside of the box, back in there, which is gonna be difficult. Again, I'll have to remove the rest of these snorkel pipes, I think, so I can get my hands even up in there. Um, it's on the back side of this piece, right? So, yeah, you've got quite the wedge. We're gonna have to remove this piece of snorkel, that piece of snorkel. Um, and then we're probably gonna be all right. But yeah, so I'll get into it here. Maybe I'll throw the other camera on. And uh, yeah, back out here we go. Okay. So, pull this back. Get in there. Get onto this wrench. There she goes. Okay, so that's something I didn't want to happen, but it sounds like it landed in the frame. So we'll have to find the 13. I just do it with my magnet stick right there. Okay. There's probably a washer in there as well. I'm sure there is. I do, I do, I do. Just want to lock on to you. Extraction? Okay. First off, we've got all this weight. So let's take this, get it back out of the way over here. You're fine. You can go up over the bottle. 
think you seem to be already right about there. We do have some ties to cut free, one here, and then we're going to have to get this off of the throttle body. So we've got it free. I'm gonna leave these tubes on. I, do, I actually, if I, if I wanted to fight with it, I bet you I can get it out and get it in there the way it is right now. However, I wouldn't mind pulling it back off a little better than that. So what's fighting me now, I think is just this crank bay right here. Oh, you prick. Gotcha. There we go. I think I could probably just go with that. <clears throat> I think we can go with that. There, I've got access right there. Oh, cut myself again. Just threw blood in my eye on the corner of it. All right, boys, so right there, there's the top shaft bolt right there. And here's our upper brace. So, if I can get you a shot in here or not. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Access is not too bad. At least these are short bolts. moon wow that just flew off okay so I actually thought it was the opposite way now we gotta find that bastard shit where'd you go 13 mil there it is gotcha Okay, how oh, easy is that pinch bolt gonna come out of there? Probably not very easy. There we go. Ha, huh, there's barely enough room to slide it out that way. Barely enough, okay. So I do wanna keep it aligned straight best as possible when I drop in this new one. That's for sure. Um, Greg. So well, that's it, everything's free there. I don't know if she's just gonna pull off, I doubt it. Easy enough. Now, we'll be cleaning up the spline a little bit, grease her up. So we got straight trajectory there, right? Pretty much. Out she comes. Now I do want to compare. Wow, is that ever light? Like super lightweight. Let's take off. Oh, that's that little plate. Okay. Where's that rag? Okay. Lengthwise. See, he's got a built in bracket and a bit of a raise there. And yeah, it is barely, barely longer. But with this shaft, I can't be using the Seco insert. So we're gonna be getting rid of that. However, I can tell just by the strength of this, it's not going to be needed anymore. Let's throw this pinch bolt back in there. Look at the wear. Okay, so there is like a basic keyway. Okay. Okay. I see, I see. So she's gonna go in like that. I'll get some grease up in here. Clean up that. Get some grease on there. God, that's lightweight. That is lightweight. In comparison, like unbelievable. If you could weigh the two, the difference. The quality of steel and the density and wow. Okay. 
Let's do this. See these nice grooves too, eh, to hold in? Let's compare, actually. I'll pull this bushing off. So Can-Am does put a channel in there to go from the top O-ring to the bottom O-ring, but there's nothing around the bushing. If there was, she's worn out. No, I don't believe there is, just that center channel. So this will at least be able to keep some lubrication around, so I think it's a good design. I like it. Packer 8 full of grease, because this one isn't greasable. However, I'm sure you could modify it. Somewhat in place. In we go. I think that should do it. All right, so a quick little recap. Pulling out this snorkel here, and then we remove that piece there, and that's all it took. And you can get yourself up in behind here to this bracket where it holds onto the air box in here on that side. And then your next one is gonna be behind the, uh, the, the puke bottle there. And you gotta wedge that back to get down in here. Not so bad. And the two here at the front. And then of course you're just going to unbolt your linkage off the side or a vent there too and then you don't really have to take any of this off the machine i just unbolted and then slid everything aside so worked it all right stems in there tight very tight we got no play anywhere so looks like i aligned everything up pretty decent too because i've got my tie rods basically put into place and it looks like yeah we're laughing right so Pretty kick ass. Just gotta button her up and we're all done. Yeah, we need alignment. Okay, so tie rods buttoned up. Air box all tightened up. Throttle bodies snugged up. Linkage is all snugged up. Tight. Two bottle back. Steering back. Snorkel's back. NOS situated. We still have to replace. Here's that burned in solenoid place that's been my issue. 
she kicked the bucket quick. So I gotta put my horn back on, get everything plugged back in, wired up properly. Throw the plastics back on, throw the wheels back on her, and she's done. But we're pretty much there. Kick ass. Good no movement. Solid, man. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Slap the wheels. Slap the wheels on her, do an alignment. Good to go, right? That's it, man. J parts installed. Kick ass. That's all you gotta do, bud. That's all you gotta do. Shoot the shit with yourself, you're good to go, man. That's it. Locked and loaded. Looks awesome. Always got a buddy at Jim Thompson.